everyone, today I want to talk to you about Java API, which happens to be a very popular question. So let's talk about what is API. Java API stands for Java Application Programming Interface, and the textbook definition of Java API says that it is a list of all classes that are part of the Java Development Kit, JKD. It includes all Java packages, classes, interfaces, along with their methods, fields, and constructors. These pre-written classes provide a tremendous amount of functionality to a programmer. What? So what does that mean? Let's break it down. It pretty much means that you do not need to reinvent the wheel, and that there are many well-written programs, classes, and functions that you can utilize inside of your program. Now, the question is, how can we use it? How can we bring it to our program? To understand how we use Java API, we first need to understand what is a JAR file, what is JDK, what is a JRE, and what is JVM. Let's get started. So JAR file or Java archive is a package file format typically used to aggregate many Java class files and associated metadata and resources into one file to distribute application software or libraries on the Java platform. You can think about it like one big giant zip file with all of those pre-written classes and functions and methods that you can use and bring into your program. Uh, using import statements, it's going to allow you to include these classes into your program. For example, importing java.util.scanner is going to let you use the scanner object for input and output in your program. So the JDK, or Java Development Kit, allows developers to create Java programs that can be executed and run by the Java virtual machine and the Java runtime environment. And the Java runtime environment will provide the libraries, the Java virtual machine, and other components to run applet and application written in the Java programming language. Java Virtual Machine, which is part of the Java Runtime Environment, is the platform that executes program. In other words, it's a platform that converts Java bytecodes into machine language. Notice it's bytecode and not binary code. So together, the Java Development Kit, Java Virtual Machine, and Java Runtime Environment are the powerful triad of Java platform components for developing and running a Java application. Now that we understand what the role of Java Virtual Machine, Java Runtime Environment, and Java Development Kit are, we can better understand what is Java API. Java API is the interface by which we request service from. Let's think about a restaurant. You use your menu to order food, and kitchen is preparing the food, but you can't go to kitchen to get your own food. You need a waiter to communicate your needs to kitchen and back. And that is the work of API. This brings us to an important question of where do you download JDK? Uh, you need to go to Oracle website and download it there. I assume your next question is how do you use these files in your program? Well, that's the easy part. We can conveniently use the import statements to bring certain classes or an entire package into our program. I hope this video helped you better understand what are Java APIs. Let me know if you have any questions.